Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Leo, this is your reading. Hi, this is Shah and this is your reading for the 7th to the 13th of September. And I've put the first layer out. You're going to get 12 cards all together and I'm going to layer them. If you would like to know what layering is, keep watching and you'll get three oracle cards as well. The first card that we've got is the Knight of Swords. He's got a great big swords there. So that means that you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. But you will be getting news. This news will come through cyber, email, text message or telephone call or even a fax. This could also be official news as the swords stand for wisdom, communication and officiality Okay, from an institution or a municipality. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. Why are you closed off Leo? What is wrong? It seems that you have closed your mind, your solar plex and your heart and no energy can come through you like Archangel Metatron to clear your chakras. Please open your heart for joy and love. Open your solar plex for joy and please open yourself to new possibilities. There is news on its way and it's going to be good news. I'll tell you why in a minute. So the Four of Pentacles means that you've closed yourself off or that you've taken time out but open up and come out put your ideas into practice open your mind if you've closed your mind you're not open to new ideas now the four of pentacles 
in the old days meant that you could be a miser and that is not all there's more meanings to just one card and especially with these cards because you can turn these cards inside out upside down like this he could have leaned more towards the future and we are talking about the now it could also be like this or like this so it's lying like this and this is the fun of the transparent tarot okay so open your mind open your solar plex open your heart open your feelings your intuition so that you can heed the warnings if there are, are any warnings okay if you've been spending too much money tighten up those purse strings that is the warning here now if you are if you've kept holding on to money and then um, or ideas then let them go you can spend a little bit money make yourself re uh, rejuvenate yourself by going to the hairdresser or get a few new pieces of makeup or an aftershave or a perfume makes you feel good take it from me perhaps this could be news about giving and taking as you have the six of cups you might be getting a loan you might have applied for a loan and that's the institution the bank is saying yes but be careful you don't you have to hold on to it Gen uh, you might have to hold on to it and they're giving you the loan because you're less you're the less fortunate one so you're getting the loan but you could be more fortunate and be giving somebody else something as well a helping hand money a gift um also a listening ear okay now what I'm you've been holding uh perhaps you've been holding on to money and you're waiting for news that something was going to happen that this person um, that asked you for a loan can pay it back perhaps you spoke to somebody official and seek advice on how to do this officially so you might be giving money to somebody officially and so that you and that's very good that you've sorted it out because that's how you are certain more or less certain that you will get the loan back that you will be extending your wish is coming true Leo as you have the star Wow now we're going on to the second layer and the second layer that is the higher uh, no not the higher of the hermits that is number nine in this deck okay you've got the hermit he always retreats into the mountains to do that to um, do his meditation contemplation and evaluation perhaps you when took time out to think about this loan because somebody asked you about the loan and that's why you held on to the money and you got clarity like I said you might have seeked also professional advice from a mature man as the hermit is the mature man and he's wise he's got life experience and he has the knowledge and then we have the temperance card you can see that earth and heaven is joined together balance you know that this person is mentally balanced okay that just came out so and you are in mental balance that's why you can let the money go you're taking action to give money to somebody that's applied for it it's sound it's balanced okay it could be a Sagittarius so we the Vir um, the hermit is Virgo but we've got the Sagittarian here so it could be a Sagittarian that you're lending money to and then we have the world card something is coming to fruition there you are joining up taking you might be even investing it could be that you could be investing in somebody else's business 
that it has applied for a loan and you said well I'll help uh, I would like to invest because I believe in you you're taking it up to the next level your investment because you know that this business is balanced and secure and is going to make more money you might be moving home you could be the world means um, moving home going into the next level in a relationship or in a partnership could be moving home going on holiday this could be a business trip this is also the karma card if you've done good you'll get it back threefold and if you've done wrong you'll get it back threefold so perhaps um, your karma is by passing on a loan to somebody else that's starting up this is a young person this is the grown-up that's how I see it so perhaps you're helping a young person to start up their own business Wow nice one perhaps you just wanted to invest in something we also have the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune yes on the star so that means going up again a notch you can see the spokes of the wheel and these are also the four elements water earth fire and air so you've come through all those seasons and now the clock is or the wheel is turning to your advantage as your wish is coming true again this could be fortune coming in uh, going on to the next level you could be getting married instead of being engaged like in the world you could get a promotion you can actually move on there's new things coming into your life that are uh, sustainable and durable and for long term you are going with the flow you are actually going upwards and onwards magic now we're going to the third level and you have the Sun and the Sun is shining on the Knight of Swords so this is going to be good news okay you've taken time out this news could come and we've got the Sun so that's Leo so that's August and we're going into Virgo we are in Virgo now so you might have started something or applied for something in August which is coming to fruition in Virgo in September okay good news the Sun makes everything good sparkle in the spotlight what you are doing is in the spotlight and is being recognized if not the Sun is also shining on you Okay, this could be also shining on a person, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that could be um, having an eye on you. Right, because they uh, really uh, are, the sun is shining on you. And you've also got a dark side of the sun, so you need, because the sun illuminates things, okay, you need more information and the knight of swords says do the research do the research it's going to be fine but do the research make sure so take time out like the hermit to do your research you are in the spotlight this is the fertile time the fertile time it was August and now in September awesome it could have even started in June but there were some hiccups because you needed more information okay now it's coming to fruition because the Sun also means moving home expansion traveling um, partnering up fertile time birth hearing of a birth of a child or of a project also moving up to the next level promotions uh, at work or moving up to the next level in relationships it's 
quite a beautiful reading and you are in your element definitely in the first week Leo as that is you the Sun is you there could be another Leo as well or a Sagittarius now we've got the three of swords Wow you are in balance and because we've got the cup here you might have been really really emotional whilst you've been shut off and you're coming into action now the sadness and the loss is behind you because look at the fireball of the temperance it's far far from the three of swords there you go okay you are in balance the card was there before and now the three of swords you have risen above you've opened up your heart your mind to new ideas you've got into action and your emotions are under control you're into action okay you've learned from your losses now we have the Friday that is midweek so in midweek you will find your balance you've got the seven of wands here look he's fighting off the negativity that's why you've closed yourself off because you lost perhaps you might have lost a job okay you might have lost a job in June or July or August and things are turning around you've fought hard you've defended yourself you've stood your ground you did have most probably uh, uh, a gift this could be coming this week but it could have been that you have had support from an institution okay things are turning around now great stuff that is on Friday and we've got the devil the devil is um, you might feel imprisoned okay you might feel that you are manipulated uh, you might feel that um, and that you you were stuck that could be also the four of Pentacles that's why you closed yourself off there okay now don't let anybody manipulate you you are you don't belong to anybody you belong with somebody but don't let anybody um, manipulate you or play the boss this could be an institution or a municipality this could also be a person um, the devil does represent um, Capricorn you're breaking away you bre look there's no chains here okay you're breaking away that is what this reading means you've defended yourself well and you've gone up a next notch you're free and look how it lies here perhaps your wish you didn't believe um, would come true but the wheel of fortune always turns up and now you're breaking free there's no mo no more chains here okay and that is good breaking free from uh, a manipulative or an imprisoned feeling or person if somebody has got addictions because the devil usually means addictions or bad habits then break free and tell them to seek help okay so it could be you that had bad habits or addictions you are breaking free from that because your wish is coming true you are going up the wheel is there the world is there the world the world is your oyster you don't have to feel trapped anymore the answer from the angels is a year from now you will see the difference look the world the world is your oyster and like I said you've got two cards the wheel and the world 
let me travel the sun let me travel this could also be not only physical travel but m spiritual travel we always change the wheel turns the world turns you've got the lime green angel feather money is about to be manifested is about to manifest the angels ask that you feel the marvelous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive an abundance of money there you go again yellow you have a lot of yellow energy in your card so that's the warmth the sun positivity and then we have the card from shine the shine time to shine deck by Anne Ellis from Anne Ellis Tarot on YouTube and it says action time to enjoy the results of your hard work victory and success now I couldn't have said it better I hope you've enjoyed this reading and these beautiful new cards um, go and have a look at the review if you want to see all of the cards take care have a beautiful week and stay safe love and light and please share thank you mm -hmm.